Welcome back, awesome people, to Cocktails and Consoles. It's Melissa, and we are back in Prince of Persia. Now, God, I have no friggin' life. Um, <laughs> more ways than one. I'm technically filming this on Christmas Eve. I'm sitting here in my apartment and just having a ball, really. Just, I've got a nice bottle of wine. Don't have a fireplace, would be nice. Curled up in a blanket. Just playing my favorite game, doing some recording, and talking to you guys, which I absolutely love. Where the hell do I go? Um. <laughs> I forget how the hell to get out of here. Oh, I think it's over this way. Do I have to break a wall? I have to break a wall. That's why. Flex that muscle for her. <laughs> Thank God. Okay. Woo! We can drink. So, yes. So, <laughs> needless to say, I've had some well-intentioned people say to me, Oh, you're, you're spending Christmas Eve alone? That's so sad. Uh, I can see that from a certain standpoint, but honestly, I'm not going to say I love being alone all the time, because, I mean, come on. Who wouldn't love to, you know, be with someone at least periodically and I'm going in. that don't thanks wait for me <laughs> thanks for running off um oh shit oh yes the kitchens i love this area and i forget why from the kitchen scanned hours ago these tables have been filled with i'm just going to stand there and ruminate on the subject while she's fighting her ass off men do back home in straw at ease because they think themselves Ooh. in the castle walls. Oh, friggin' blue guy. Alright, uh, I gotta dig her out of some trouble here. We'll get back to what I was talking about in a moment! Oh god, thank god he missed. Okay. I'm gonna need some life coming out of this thing. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, honey, I'm on it. Yeah, I need your attention, dude. Like, oh fuck. See what you make me do, woman? Ugh. Wow, I am supremely stuck. Fuck. I can't even save her right now. Oh, God! Can you help me? Help me help you. Okay, help me help me. You before I die, honey, would be ideal. Or at least fucking keep them busy. Thank God. Okay. You're one I can climb. I can't climb. No, I didn't want to rewind time! I was doing fine! God, I'm usually much better than this. What is going on? Wow, I can't believe I got him. That normally never happens! Oh my god, so much going on, I can't even see what I'm doing. Alright, she's okay for a couple of hits. Excuse me, gents. This is normally the best way to handle the blue guys. It's just super frustrating. Because the controls are not the smoothest in the world. Are we done? We're done. Thank God. Alright, let's get this done. I'll 
I'll start the story from here next time. Okay, what was I saying? Oh, yes. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. There are times when being with someone is great. And there are times when, you know, being by yourself is awesome. But it, it still stuns me from time to time that as progressive as I feel our society has become, we still look as, at people being single as, like... A disease like it, it it's not cancer I'm just not with someone right now like this isn't the 1950s where women's goal coming out of college was you better find yourself a man right now now I am no women's lib advocate by any stretch of the imagination I <laughs> I think no, women I can't use that uh, as a crutch. I mean, we're certainly not where we used to be so long ago when women really had to fight for rights. I think we abuse the system from time to time. Where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. So, I'm not one of those crusaders. Not even kind of. But it does annoy me every now and again when people find out that I'm single and they're like, oh, and they give you that look. And you, anyone who's been single in their life and have dealt with family or relatives or, you know, things like that, have seen the look, the look of, oh, poor you. I opened a door. Oh. Bridge fight. Well, now we get to repeat all that shit once again. <laughs> so, yeah. So it, it. Oh, come on. Really? How did I do this last time? Oh, I think I come down from there. But if I come down from there, how do I get up there? Whoa. Oh, that's right. You and you. And I flip around. And now we go this way. So really, that's just my whole point. It's, you know, life can be fulfilling both ways. And it's not... If someone isn't with someone, it's not. It should not be seen as, oh my God. Well, don't worry. Your life will be fulfilled one these days. There's, be, there's being happy by yourself, and there's being happy with others. And I, I will tell you now, throughout your life, this is no longer the '50s where we made it forever, and to some degree, we probably shouldn't have because I've watched people who have been in long-lasting relationships who were just so bitter with each other that the only thing keeping them together is that they could not comprehend a life of being single after so long of being together. I'm down here. I know you are. I think she has to, yeah, she's got to sneak through there. So, I mean, and I think it's fair to say, especially if you look around in this day and age, that there will be times when people are with someone, there will be times when people are apart. It's, it's, it's a constant ebb and flow. Don't mention it. <laughs> so charming. Alright. Walk this way, woman. We're above the zoo. We'll need to cross that bridge. 
after you, lady. Can you go do, do the thing? Hello. Now what? Thank you. Yes, I was just going to suggest that. Uh huh. Perfect. You did it. So yeah, so I mean, both sides of the house, being with someone and being without someone, both have their pros and their cons and it would be nice had we looked at both on an equal footing, understanding that you're not guaranteed to be with someone, and you're not guaranteed to be without someone. I guess would be the long end of this. <laughs> Hello? Oh, oh, I'm full up on water. Okay. I was gonna say, I thought I'd get attacked here. I do get attacked here. Fantabulous. separate you guys because y'all are just no no oh, fuck come on really i knew that was gonna happen come on no no, no. that way that way that way wow can i get three for three yes i can all right i need you to hold big daddy over there because i gotta Pop this bastard! Thank you. Oh, good. <laughs> Somehow I dragged him over here. Oop. Yes! Can I get two for two? Can I even see what I'm doing? Fuck! No. No, no, no! Hmm. Fuck you, blue guy. You know what? Just for that. Ugh. Great. Woo! That worked a lot better. Next. Done. Come on, boys. Come and get me. Ooh, that worked really well. Now be careful doing this because you can do this and launch yourself off the side. Yet another reason why I don't like doing this move, but when it comes to all blues, very, very helpful. If you can pull it off! Oh, yes! Thank you. Knife in the back is the least of you that you deserve. Oh god, that was like right in the ass. Okay. Let's go see what the future has in store for us. Drink some water. We'll call this an episode. Let's drink up. And thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me in this late Christmas Eve night. Hope you guys are having not only a wonderful Christmas Eve, but about to have a fantabulous Christmas. And I'll be wishing that to all of you as I can, either on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, wherever I can. I know this video is going to come way late, but hopefully it counts for something. Any likes, comments, subscribes, much appreciated as I definitely help out the channel and I will see you 
awesome people in the next episode. Cheers!